Hello everyone to another Katan video. So I am in the first position. Uh, I do see that there is quite a lot of sheep on this board. Not a lot of brick, only one uh, uh, six tile. Decent wheat, uh, not a lot of ore. There is quite a lot of wood, but uh, it's in a very awkward position because a3 or uh, something like a10 might not be selected at all at this point i think uh, 9510 is a very good spot uh, grabbing the best ore spot a decent wood and a decent uh, wheat spot along with it the other good spot i believe is something like uh, 6511 grabbing the best brick or maybe 6411 uh, 9510 also seems to be good, but uh, I will go for the other 9510 here and point to the left. I don't think the 810 spot will be taken, so that is a uh, uh, expansion spot that I might have on this board. Brown goes for the other 9510, makes complete sense. So, does give a little more wheat. Uh, than ore. On the other hand, here I have a little ore more than wheat. We both have same wood, so I mean, although the number is five and nine, but the number or the probability is the same. Gray here has a very difficult choice, I would say. Um, yeah, gray goes for six five eleven, grabbing the best brick, a uh, decent wood, and a little ore. Red here will probably go for something like 8, 3, 10, 6, 3, 6, 11, 12 or maybe 6, 4, 11 and 8, 3, 10 uh, and go on the sheep port and probably on the 3 to 1 port as well. But they will have to play with very little wheat or uh, do, does go for 8, 3, 10. Points downwards, which is a little surprising. That makes me believe that uh, their second settlement spot would be something like 9411. Goes for 6311 is also okay. But now they have a lot of sheep. And if they are not able to get the sheep port, it will be a very, very difficult game. They are also not pointing towards any 3 to 1 port. So I believe that would make their game all the more difficult. Gray goes for 6411, which is okay again gray not pointing towards the sheep uh, towards the 3 to 1 port is surprising because they have a lot of brick but uh, no very little ore and uh, wheat so 3 to 1 port would be important i believe i will be able to get something like 492 which will be excellent for me because I have the proximity of the wood port and I do produce quite a lot of wood here. I can go for something like 492 point to the left and build on 62. Uh, increase my sheep production and I can also point to the right and go towards 52. But that doesn't help me enough. I already have decent amount of sheep. Sorry, decent amount of wheat. Getting more wheat doesn't help me too much. So based on that logic, I will go for 492 and point to the left. This also makes it possible for me to build towards the wheat port as I already produce a decent amount of wheat. And 5-2 doesn't add a new number uh, to my placement build already. I am a little dependent on 2's rolling over here so that I can get settlements quickly.
I did play a very similar game where I was I had a very a decent uh, or she or wheat and wood uh, setup recently. So that this game reminds me of that. I will go for this trade because I don't produce any sheep. But uh, I just cancelled the trade by mistake. Uh, that wasn't the right choice. But luckily, I am able to get the offer again. I know that does give brown or dev card, but um, that is something that helps me also because, as I said, I don't produce any sheep. I could have asked for two sheep. Uh, I should have been a little more aggressive with the trade there. Seven rolls. Uh, so basically. Red has to give up four cards uh, very early on in the game. I believe red can block the nine ward or the five ward. Blocks the six brick, completely fine with that. I do roll a five ward here. Let me see if I can get a brick. I wouldn't mind accepting a wood for brick trade. Yeah, Gray is taking quite some time to respond. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to wait very long. I'll just end my turn. Most likely Gray will be building a road this turn. Uh, they did start with a brick and Red not building a road makes me believe that Red wasn't able to steal the brick away from Gray. And yeah, that's exactly what uh, Gray does. Yeah, at this point, There's no point stealing from Gray because Gray doesn't have any wood. Blocking Brown also doesn't help me too much because Brown might immediately play a dev card and steal uh, a rare resource from me. So that said, I might just block Red. Yeah, I think that's the only option I have here. I get a wheat, which is completely fine. I'll just end my turn with the cards I have in hand. At 12 rolls, uh, I would have preferred if it was a 2. Nobody has the brick uh, that Brown is looking for, so... Pretty sure none of the trades are going to go through. Gray is taking quite a lot, a long time to roll the die, which is not very good for the game, but uh, that's how it is sometimes. Wow, another 12 rolls. A uh, 9 rolls here. Let's see if I can get a wheat for wood trade. Uh, how about a wheat for sheep? 
if this trade goes through i will be able to get a dev card uh don't think any trades are going through i wouldn't want to use my how about two wheat for a wood i will be able to get a settlement by doing a four is to one seems a little too expensive yeah brown is looking for a brick yeah at this point i don't think i have much of an option i will have to go for a dev card i do roll and uh, do get a knight which is fine and i believe i i will just end my turn with six cards in hand uh, it's a risk but it's okay eight does roll but because eight is blocked uh, red doesn't get any sheep there yeah I won't be accepting a two is to one now. Yeah, I wouldn't mind this trade because there's a good chance I will be able to get a wheat again. A nine rolls, a little risky because now I am over seven cards. another eight roll so red is still blocked yeah at this point or uh, this trade is the only option i have so because none of these trades are going through i'll just have to do a uh, Four is to one. Wouldn't want to convert it into a brick because it might get stolen. And just end my turn here. A pretty slow start, but that is because six are, sixes aren't rolling and nobody has any brick. I mean, if even if sixes do roll, it is it will help only grey and grey can extort people for the brick. Let's see what Brown wants to do here. Does roll a nine? So these nines are pretty good for me. Brown will be able to do a four is to one uh, and convert their wood into a brick for sure. If another nine rolls, I will be able to get a city, which will be very very strong. Seven rolls. I believe the nine wood can be blocked here, and a gray might steal from me if they want a ore. Steals from brown. Completely okay with that. And eleven does roll. I would love to roll a two or a nine or maybe a seven as well. I do roll an eight. Uh, doesn't help me much. Yeah, I'm not sure what I can do with these cards in hand. I might just play a knight and uh, steal from brown. Hopefully, get a sheep. maybe i can get a wood for sheep trade and if this trade goes through i will go for a second dev card yeah red doesn't doesn't accept it yeah at this point i don't have much of an option here i have to block brown i do get an ore so that's very lucky and that helps me get a early city here and immediately a 10 rolls where brown and red both are blocked also that confirms that brown doesn't have a knight the dev card that they have isn't a knight a uh, seven rolls uh, so now gray will lose four of their cards 
and probably will steal from me after blocking the nine wood here. Yeah, does steal from me, which makes sense. A nine does roll, so I do get a little block there. And an eight rolls. Uh, let's see if I can get a sheep from red. If not, I don't think, I don't know what option I have, but to go for a dev card, I wouldn't want to hold on to six cards because if a nine rolls or a five or a 10, I will be over seven. Although I am losing the precious uh, sheep that I have, but that's a risk I am willing to take here. Unfortunately, I get a victory point, not a card I was looking for. That doesn't help me at all in this game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the five wood gets blocked and uh, gray will uh, brown will steal from me. Who blocks the nine ore? Uh, I am a little worried that brown might build two roads if they have a road building and uh, block me on the six two. So that is surely something that I have to keep in mind. Another seven is rolled, so the nine wood gets blocked and gray will steal from me again. Yeah, so getting the early city is proving to be a drawback now, especially because sevens are pretty frequent. Another seven roll, so yeah. So I have been targeted, yeah, back to back. Thrice now. An 11 does roll. Uh, that helps Gray quite a bit. I'm not sure if Gray will be close to a city though. Yeah, 9 rolls. That is. That does hurt me now uh, because I lose 2 ores. So my dev card being a victory point is already hurting me quite a bit. I believe the best card for me at this point would have been the year of plenty. Knight would have been fine as well. Uh, I would have been able to move the robber away from me. But year of plenty would have basically given me a brick and a sheep or a couple of bricks. Now I do know that brown has a brick in hand. So if I do roll a seven, I will be stealing from brown. Instead, red rolls a seven. Should be blocking the 5 wood or maybe the 9 wood. If red is tracking cards, brown would be the target. Because brown is the only person who has a brick here and at this point that's the rarest resource. Does target me, that's a little unfortunate. I roll an 8, that doesn't help me at all. So I'll just end my turn. I feel like there is some connectivity issue because uh, this bar just keeps on refreshing or re resetting. Yeah, threes haven't rolled in quite some time, so seems like 
brown doesn't have a sheep to get the settlement he is able to get a trade so brown will get a settlement now hopefully nobody accepts that trade i yeah i wow so red does couple of those trades and brown now gets a settlement a two does roll so that's good uh i would have liked if it rolled a little earlier but i'm completely fine with it now another eight rolls i believe red might be willing to offer a sheep for wheat trade yeah at this point i don't have much of an option i have to block red sorry uh, brown yeah red does accept that one is to one trade which is good for me i do get my settlement on the sheep tile that does add a new number to my uh, setup and also gives me a, uh, the sheep that i did not produce Uh, maybe asking for a sheep wasn't the right move i could have asked for a wheat and a ore but now i will be able to get another road and towards the wood port which will be very very important a 10 and a 9 would be excellent roll for me wow. so these cheap trades by red has been helping everyone uh does block me so i believe i will be able to get only a dev card now this turn yeah not much that i can do uh, let's see if i can offer a wood for anything would love to accept it for a sheep uh let me offer it again see if somebody changes their mind yeah so great does accept it i will get a dev card at this point and i get another victory point that's not what i was looking for i want to fight for the largest army and getting victory points isn't helping me much brown does get the longest road here but uh, don't think it helps them too much unfortunately i do not have a 3 to 1 port or else i would have been able to get a dev card on my turn i do roll a 7 so i know that red has at least one or in hand I get a word which is also okay. Let me again offer a word for over trade. Yeah, I don't think this time it uh, anybody is accepting it. So I'll just do a four is to one, get an over, and get another dev card. I do finally get a knight, which is good. now at this point i am not very worried about using away a sheep to get dev cards is because now i have the six tile like uh, i have a settlement on the six tile on the six on the six sheep
yeah gray is taking some time to roll the die does roll an 8 uh, so these eights only help red get a settlement and uh, sorry get couple of sheep and isn't helping anyone else and because red doesn't have any ports or uh, much use of the sheep because of they don't have coordinating resources it isn't affecting uh, me much unfortunately my couple of ores are blocked here i will be playing my knight uh, and blocking the problem with blocking brown is brown can immediately play the knight and uh, block my nine over again so i believe i will be blocking uh, red on the eight sheep the other option is maybe block gray because i will be playing my knight yeah blocking brown because brown is the most threatening but brown can immediately play their knight and uh, block my nine over again who wouldn't want that so based on that logic i will block gray and the reason why i'm blocking gray is gray is the only one who doesn't have a dev card in hand and now gray doesn't even have any cards uh, so because of that i will steal from red i do get an ore that's a good pull don't think this trade will go through yeah it doesn't go through so i'll just end my turn with the cards i have in hand yeah and i think brown did not play the dena play the knight just because they aren't blocked so my strategy of not blocking brown uh, is working i believe i should be able to get another dev card on my turn unless a seven rolls or if red plays the knight and steals my ore yeah red doesn't play the knight so that is surely a good thing for me if i roll a 7 i would probably block gray here i know gray has at least a ore in hand brown does have a ore too but gray has I have a better chance of pulling an ore from gray a 9 would be a best roll for me i will be able to get two dev cards rather than getting a city i believe getting dev cards would be uh, preferred right now a 7 rolls yeah as explained i will be stealing from gray i get a wheat uh, let me just offer a wheat for ore yeah i don't think so gray will be accepting the trade i do get a knight so i will be able to get the largest army in the next turn a nine rolls that is a very very good roll for me wow and that does give me a city but uh, i wouldn't want to play it just yet i wouldn't want to accept it uh accept a trade with gray just yet although i know gray is just trying to get a settlement and uh, getting a city wouldn't be the worst case but i will do it if uh it's my turn i wouldn't want to do it on gray turn oh, sorry brown turn wow gray just gave 
two ores to sorry brown gave away two ores to gray that will surely give gray a city in this turn okay gray will not be getting a city because gray just has four cards i will be able to get a city and dev card if a seven doesn't roll so a seven doesn't roll that's really good for me i will first get a dev card i get a year of plenty that's pretty decent and now i get a city so yeah i'll just end my turn here gray would have been able to get at least one dev card this turn uh, they have i believe three ores and uh, a wheat and four sheep is in hand and they gave away all their sheep so they are holding on to they gave away three sheep and an ore so they are holding for a city yeah steals from me which is completely fine i am pretty much in the lead and now that brown has played their dev card i know the last dev card that they have isn't a knight so i will be blocking the 10 over now a seven rolls uh, at this point the nine wood will be blocked for sure or maybe the four wheat is also a decent block should be stealing from me and no one else wow steals from brown which is surprising yeah i will accept that trade a seven roll so pretty sure my nine over gets blocked here steals from me I will be playing my knight getting the largest army here and stealing from brown I get another wheat uh, which is okay and I'll end my turn with the cards I have in hand I already am on 9 so yeah I just need another settlement or a city and with the year of help of year of plenty I believe I should be able to win the game pretty soon I will give away all my wood. Uh, the nine over gets blocked. Pretty sure of that, and uh, should be stealing from me. And yeah, that is completely okay. As long as a, a red doesn't roll a seven, I will be able to win the game. A uh, ten rolls. Uh, that's just GG. So at this point, I'll just be able to play my year of plenty and get a settlement. Also, oh, uh, sorry, get a city. Another ten rolls. Uh, that's even better. And I'll just get a city and win the game. So pretty easy game for me. Uh, I believe red. doing easy one is to one trades early on in the game helped uh, everyone i believe they helped uh, brown get a settlement me get a settlement and uh, gray get a settlement as well so that was uh, something and that said the placement by my opponents weren't good at all i believe red had too much uh, sheep but nothing to do with it or nothing to pair with it no brick very little ore and wheat and very little wood as well gray had a decent setup i would say they had very little wheat and ore but uh, because sixes rolled only twice uh, gray was not able to grow at all i didn't block brown a lot 
I believe I was just lucky with the numbers. Uh, although eight did roll quite a lot, but eight didn't help anyone but me. Oh, sorry, but red. Uh, nines helped me quite a bit. Uh, so did tens and fives. Getting the best over and uh, being able to build on six two was a good move, I would say. So yeah, it was a pretty easy game. Although I was targeted quite a bit. Uh, if you see the robber, I was robbed 11 times, which is more than, which is equivalent to the rest three combined. Yeah. But the, because sixes didn't roll, I think gray was just stuck in their game. They were too dependent on wood and brick. So that affected their game and helped me uh, progress smoothly. I would have risen quite a bit in the ELO rankings. I believe I should be in around 1200s now or 1100s. Yeah, I am in 1285, around 1200s. So that's good. In the last two games, I played a game without any ore. Uh, both, and I did lose both of those. So in this game, capturing the best ore spot early on did help me get cities and dev cards with the largest army and couple of victory points. Um, anyways, bye for now and see you again in the next.